So we have a survey. So it needs our opinions. Now, um, I don't know if y'all been filling out these surveys. I think there was one before and I filled it out. I don't feel like anything I was saying really made a difference. I hope it does in the future, but so far it feels like it made no difference. What's going on? I'm B Tactics. I normally stream Tower of Fantasy content and I like to create content too. I really do like this game. It's one of my favorite games and I hope that it becomes better in the future. Uh, then you know our opinions. Maybe they're trying to make the game better. But I won't lie, I'll push start. But I feel like right now they've been trying to rob us of uh, money mainly. All right, what's my age, right? Oh. Can I not choose? Oh. All right. I would like to say I'm, I'm really uh, 55, but I got to put real age today and put real age. Wow, I'm 33. Wow. Woo, I'm old. What's my gender? Oh, male. Multiple choice. Which of the following games are that you played more often in the last six months? I... I have no idea. Okay, uh, sports? Uh, not really. Uh, simulation, puzzle, adventure. Yup, I have played adventure, so I'll do that. MOBA. I played a little bit of Smite. We'll, we'll do gotcha, right? Because this is a gotcha game, right? Oh, I've been playing, uh, 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 forgot the name of the game. Uh, Overwatch. I think that's I think that falls under uh this. Action RPG, no. Open world. Wait, this falls under open oh. Oh. Okay. I mean this sounds okay. Okay. Which of the following how you played in the last six months? Oh wait. Following oh game genre. This is just game in general. Okay, game impact. Not in the last six months. Uh, never played. Not in the last six months. Never played. Never played. Oh, wait, no, no. I have not played in the last six months. Sorry. Destiny 2. Uh, not in the last. I haven't played none of these in the last six months. That's crazy. Okay. How do you play the following game platforms? PC almost every day. Console, PlayStation. Uh, I'm going to say occasionally. Mobile devices. Well, I mean, I just don't play on it, but I can't say I don't own one, so what do I choose? I don't do either one. Do I just, can I skip it? Because it doesn't have my answer? No, it requires an answer. Um, I don't know. I guess occasionally? Because if I say I don't own one, I'm lying. What is your current wanderer level? Okay, I'm on the other side of it. Oh, that's says grade in level 71. Okay, that's me. What is your current CS? I'm um 63K. Oh, okay, about 60K. Okay. Which of the following best describes your activities in the game? New wanderer, no. I'm a veteran wanderer with rather high game act. I think that sounds right. I'm a veteran wanderer who once quit or uninstalled the game before. Now we're back to the game. <laughs> oh, so y'all, they paid attention. They know you'll be quitting the uninstall on the game. Okay. Maybe something did trigger in the last um survey. Or maybe they realized the numbers going down, the money went down. Okay, they're paying attention. Based on what you experienced so far, how satisfied are you? Uh I am quite satisfied. It could be better. It's still a lot of hiccups in the game. Don't get it twisted. Hold on, let me put the controller down. I'm not playing. There's a lot of issues within the game. And I've been trying to state these, but I feel like I don't have a big enough voice. So uh, apologies to anyone who thinks I'm just trying to say quite satisfied and say there's nothing wrong with the game. I'd be capping. Okay. What are the actual tower fantasy that satisfies you most? Semi locker and PC design appeal to me? Hmm, not really. Setting the story appeal to me? Hmm, not really. Mission event I'm very limiting, easy and casual gameplay without any stress. I mean I don't stress, so I, I guess. High quality art that suits my sense of aesthetics. Isn't that kind of still similar? No, 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 because the the new the new area was is beautiful. I'm talking about the 2.1. 2.0 is too. Diverse combat mechanics, high skill ceiling, extreme 
Extremely interesting. Okay, I, I guess that does work. I keep strengthening my character by consistently collecting resources. Fuck. I kind of rather that. I can put all Oh. I can play. Oh. No, I. Friends. I really just like playing this game with other people. I think if it. The more single players get, the more I'm not going to play it. They keep coming out with new things to do. It is not co-op. Why do I keep, like the, the gray space, single player. The other little area you can jump into that last eight hours, single player. Boring. That's boring. Dumb boring. Super duty boring. Like, yeah, it might be easy. It might be fun for some people, but you, you're you putting this as an MMO. Stop saying MMO, massive multiplayer online. You give me single player and you just gave me Fortnite recently. Okay? Give me more co-op to do with friends. Or I can make more friends. Something. Just stop giving me single player BS. Almost cursed. Because that does get me mad. I just need a freedom exploration. Freely custom on appearance. In this stage of mini games are very interesting. I don't care about the ruins. I don't care about dreams. Like it's cool to do dreams and training and stuff. All single player. Boring. At least the combat I can do with co-op as well. Everything I just placed there is co-op. So please, start giving me co-op stuff for the MMO. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, what are the actual type of things that let you down the most? This messes up a lot. No one wants to play Benediction. Nobody really wants to play 42. Everyone's attacked and they end up playing like, you know, Benediction of 42. The balance can't hold aggro, can't heal well enough. And it's just, yo, what's going on? But I do understand you can't get certain weapons. So that I can understand. So I guess I'll say poor teamwork, I guess. I'm satisfied with everything? Yeah, okay. What if I choose that? Why did? Okay. Nobody about to be choosing that. Tutorial. I don't even remember the tutorial. Too difficult, time consuming? No. That's the new players who don't do anything but try to level up. I, I have a friend. I'm, I'm calling him out. Flip, I kept trying to tell him, hey, I'll help you get stuff. He says, no, I don't need that. Then he says, I need help traveling around the world and asks my missus all the time. Yeah, I know. I sound like a jerk saying this, but I'll be saying, hey, just keep focusing on your gear. He'll eventually get there, though, because he actually got a new belt when I was like, yeah, you need that. Try to level up your gear. He insists that he needs to get these stars, and he doesn't understand what the stars are. That's a new player not understanding what's going on. I play the game a lot more than him, uh, but I mean, he compares a lot to Genshin, so he should know, like, you know, the, the stars on Genshin is based on leveling stuff up with random roles. He should have an understanding on what that means. Uh, what's the main storyline? Lack of background information? I mean, the story's not even really lacking information per se. It's just not much story in general. <laughs> okay. Too many cheaters? That was a problem. But I never ran into it. It's a problem. I just say I haven't ran into it, okay? I want to make sure of that. They, I've seen them in the game. Basic performance, power consumption. Hot. It does use a lot of that, but okay. Wait, Genki nagging about adding friends to joining crews? No, it doesn't do that. Well, I guess I have friends and I joined crews. Those are the solo players who saying that. Poor viewing angles, combat, and yeah, it is bad views, but okay. Social networking, poor social environment. Not being able to talk with people. Drawing rewards, availability of high grades and lockers, matrix equipment, etc. is too low. I mean, I went for Saki and I had a lot of L's. So I could probably actually say that is a bad aspect. I'm gonna place that there. Huge power got some power and it's difficult to catch up. I mean, I'm gonna put it like this, right? Although don't get mad at me. Me and him have two different gaps. Now I play 42, I'm a low spender. He told me he's a whale. Not in those exact words, but if he wants to say it, he can. But there's a difference in power. I know it is, he know it is. He knows why, I know why, but we're not gonna state here. He's not cheating, by the way. But we know there's a difference. But it, I, to say it's, it might be difficult to catch up, but it's not the end of the world. I can still play the game at a high level. Character role, clipping, mm, character settings, like creativity. That is a problem, but it's not the biggest problem. 
UI UE size, position, color, direction of the main interface, not user friendly. What about controls? Oh, here we go. Controls. Choppy controls, unfriendly control modes, control feedback. Not yes. Right now, if you try to play the 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 battleground, I, I, the destiny. If you're using a controller, let me give you an example. I'm not using mouse and keyboard. I play on the controller. I know you might say, oh, why don't you use mouse and keyboard? It's difficult for me. I hurt my arm on it. It's hard for me to memorize. And trying to memorize hurts my head. I don't want to stress and strain playing a video game. We play video games for fun, for comfort. If I have to do all that, I mean, I would be trying to force myself to work through the injury I'm suffering with. So, I mean, I'd rather do that than try to learn, you know, the mouse and keyboard and struggle with that, you know, and harm myself. Sounds like I'm copping out. I totally understand you believe that, but you know, the, the injury I went through, you have understanding. Let's just say it's been an eight year thing. Okay, so we got four m messed up here. Color design. I don't have a color problem. Slow on the updates. Like a game content abort, yes. Okay, here we go right here. Like I'm enjoying the game, but a lot of things that come up for new, the, the, the events are boring. There's an event right now we did like in 1.0. There's killing a bunch of bosses. Yeah, I guess that does add group play, but it's nothing new to me. It's nothing new to me. Give us limited time bosses. Give, give us, um, like, you know, they had a little boss thing. Um, I forgot when you fought like two bosses. I was cool with that. Keep giving us fresh things like that. You know, like there's a there's a new boss on the, um, the newer JOs. Give us maybe some of those for like um content. You know, there's new players in the game that can't play JOs at, the, at that level yet. So you can like spoon feed them those bosses. It'll be match their level anyway. So I think that's a good idea. I was at five, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. How should I, okay. Overall performance hardware. Eh. I don't know. I don't, I'm cool with it. I, don't, I have no complaints. I'm cool with it. Like I said, I'm very excited. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, game localization, text. Um, there's things I like and things I don't like. I'm going to put neutral. So I like the fact that they're trying to have voiceovers and everything, but right now Tian Lang is named Sirius, but Sirius is saying Tian Lang, and it's very confusing. I wish they would have just stuck with Tian Lang and trying to switch it up. So they got the voice actors, I think it's saying Sirius. See, I can't even remember, so no, I'm going to put dissatisfied, because I'm out here hurting my head trying to remember offhand. But I think they constantly say Sirius and voice acting. They need to redo that voice acting. Or, or change the name in the game. Just name them serious. And then the voice acting is fine. You have to repay. Just re redirect your wording. That's it. But I'm going to say I'm quite dissatisfied with that. I don't think that was hard to do. They tried to do too much and they didn't do a good job. Communication? Atmosphere? I don't mind it. They blank out some things and you're limited like 50 words. Even in DMs. So it's like a Twitter post can get more chat than me in the game. So I'm going to put neutral. Because it could definitely be worse. I understand what they're trying to do. Character development, weapons, matrix, equipment, suppressor, etc. I mean, neutral with that. I'm not satisfied. You know, like I get gear. But the random rules, then how, how much stamina you have. And, you know, I don't know. Like, if you can get those blockers and block about the three at once and force yourself to, so for some stats, that'd be great. But I can only use one at a time per level. No, nah, that ain't great. Allow me to use three per level? Yeah, sure. You might say, why not four? There's only four stats, so I don't want to do that. That'd be crazy. Purchase experience, store, gift pack, character, card, pool, outfit, etc. Honestly, I know it sounds crazy. I want to say I'm satisfied, but then I saw CN's, um, prices so i had to put it back to neutral why why does why does cn get better pricing for the for their purchases i know someone to say oh well this is global so they're trying to um 
make it so it's better balance. Okay, well, if they're going to balance the item, why don't you balance that price too? CN and Global have the same price, right? So now the question is, we're at the same price. Why are we getting like, you know, the lower quality gear? If you're going to give us lower quality, give it lower price too. Then I'm okay with it. Then I'll probably put quite satisfied or even very satisfied. But I'm neutral. Because it could be worse. Because they allowed me to actually purchase like um, upgrades for gear with Dark Crystal you can earn weekly. You can earn, you can spend, uh, what is it, two, 250 No, I think it's 100 I don't know. Two, it's like 250 300 You earn 350 a week. You can purchase yourself upgrade if you want to. So that's why I'm like, okay, that's why I'd be quite satisfied. So I'm in a neutral. Sound and visual effects. I actually love the sound effects. I can kind of tell what enemies are due to sound effects. I'm actually very satisfied with that. Character design, protagonist, Milankaran, NPC, any boss. I'm about to see. No, I'm actually quite satisfied with that too. It's not things I normally see. So yeah, I'm gonna put I'm very satisfied with the character designs. I like the designs and and everything looking around. Battle, impactful combat, smoothness, viewing angles, strategy. Oh no, I'm I'm not very satisfied. I'm quite satisfied. Sometimes you got the hiccups, you know, and then sometimes you have like um delay. If it's too many players, they cause problems. Now I want to say I want to blame my um my my PC not being up to par, but now I check Task Manager. Nothing's like going high all over the place. So because that's not happening. I can't blame it on my, you know, anything I'm doing. So I have to put quite satisfied. Still got, there's still got ways to improve, but I'm satisfied with what they're doing. Overall exploration. I hate this. I won't lie. I hate exploring. It's the reason why I didn't want to keep playing Genshin. Well, one of the reasons why I didn't want to keep playing Genshin, but I'm here to play a MMO. Why am I doing so much single play? And yes, you, you can do it with other players, but who's actually wanting to go exploring? Like my missus want to explore, but I don't want to explore. But like you can find stuff too. So I guess I'm okay with it. I'm going to put I'm dissatisfied because I don't like exploration, but it's like, I want to say I'm neutral with it because not wanting to do it, but you can still do it. And the 2.1 does make it kind of fun, but the 1.0, the 1.5 I actually did not like. It's probably borderline like very disliking. So I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna put dissatisfied. I, I just don't like world exploration so much. And I just wish like when you actually view it on the big map, you can see it on the small mini map too. It'd make life easier. But that's just me. That's just me. I'm not saying make it so you can see everything on the map as soon as you open it. But if I could open up the big map and I see something there, like, right? Like, I don't, I don't mean like my marking, like, it'll say like supply pot right up to the top right. I close it, but then it doesn't show me on the mini map. I have to like move more and more for it to show up there. I just feel like it should just pop up. If it's on the big map, it should pop up the small map direction. I think that'd be a great idea, but I'm dissatisfied. Solo instances. Ruin, Bygone Phantasm, Dreamscape, Challenge. Now look, me personally, I don't like single play, but the Ruin give you rewards. The Bygone Phantasm gives rewards. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage right now. I was in second place, you know, on Monday, but I already know I'm about to fall back into like top, you know, 20, which is a bummer. But again, it's not about where I'm at. It's more of how the, is the feeling of it. Now, I feel like a lot of times I lag on Bygone. Dreamscape, I mean, like I said, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm not going to be a, a downer of it because it does reward you. It rewards you, so I understand that. And all the other challenges. So I'm, I'm going to actually, like I guess I don't like I don't like solo, but that's co-op Bygone, I'll probably be very satisfied. You give me more co-op for these events. I become very satisfied. So I put quite satisfied, honestly. I don't like them. For me not liking them, I like the rewards I get. That's why I'm pl placing it. Arena gameplay experience. 
I was very dissatisfied. Literally, if you use a controller, it doesn't play. The F button that's supposed to be F, it, it works in the, the open world. It'll probably work if you're in a join up. It, everything works fine, everywhere else. Once you go into that mode, the controller is all over the place. I'm very dissatisfied. And you might say, oh, you didn't play enough matches. I'll probably try it again another, maybe today. But right now, as far as I'm doing this survey, very dissatisfied. I don't want to play the mode because of it. And I know someone's like, oh, you can, you can, you can install this and install that. Why do I have to install something extra to my PC for one game? Not, not, not a couple games, not several games, not a dozen games. One game, bro. I mean, no disrespect. How special does uh, on Tower of Fantasy think it is? I guess a, it's a good game. It's a great game. But for you to be taking up all my resources on my PC and on my money? You got all this money. You made 20 mil. You can't get a controller working, dog? Bro, no. No. Now, again, I do want to place out there. They are working on controller configuration. And it has gotten better. But every time there's a cutscene, I can't jump. But that's not part of arena, but arenas in general, the controller sucks. Terrible experience. Limited time events, out of cafe. I didn't hear. I didn't like them, to be honest. But for me not liking them, they was doable. So I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna put neutral. I'm still putting dissatisfied because I had to go out my way for some of them. When I shouldn't have to, it's an event. Event's supposed to be fun. You know, exciting. You should be hyped to play the event. Not hyped for the rewards about the event and hope that you get the rewards. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, because then it's like, you're not, it's, it's more like extra force stuff you have to do. It's not as fun. Some of them are fun. Don't don't get it to it. Some of them are fun. It's just, the Outer Cafe was not fun at all. It was able to do because I constantly was picking stuff up. It's not fun. Execution of training, that was that was all right. It was all right. Orienteering, I don't remember exactly what that is. I think it's when you have to like run around to those gates and stuff like that. It's just, I want events to be fun. And right now, these limited time events don't really seem fully fun and exciting. You're like, there's an event right now. We're just killing world bosses. I like world bosses, the next person, but I feel like, okay. We end up having to want to do them on our own anyway. I mean, it gives us more reason to. I get it, but it's not fun. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should be neutral. Yeah, I'll, I'll be neutral because it's not like I'm dissatisfied. I'm just, I just, I just expect more. You know, I expect more from it. Like I'm neutral with it. I'm not. I don't hate it, but like I just wish they were fun. They're not bad, but I just wish they were fun. How much do you agree? Disagree? Each of the following. Descriptions of in-game purchases. <laughs> Yo, anyone who bought Cobalt B and went all crazy for it are pissed at this. Now I do want to state also with that Cobalt, like it was it was a, it was on websites, but people just thought, oh, it's gonna be different from CN. Come on, it's basically the same game, just translated differently. And different pricing. Whoa, I just saw the high item pricing. Oh, can't wait to get to that one. Information on the items page is unclear and hard to understand. Okay, higher point indicates a high degree of approval. Yes, I have to play some a four on that at minimal, minimal. Because there are things I do understand, but there's other times it just is not understandable. Okay, many bugs in the purchase system. Free compressions failures are un un. No, honestly, I never, I never had that. I, I, I can't go with everyone else. I have to make sure it's just me, my purchases, then someone else. When I talk some money, anyone can talk stupid. So I'm going to say I never had an issue. I was scared at one point, but I never had an issue personally. Um, High item pricing and poor value for money. Huh. Yeah. Work on that. Limited edition card pools. Get updated too frequently, which brings great pressure to make purchases. Y'all don't even know what that is. What? Limited edition card pools? What the heck is that? Are those like simulacros they're talking about? I don't know. 
I'm gonna just put, I didn't pay enough attention to provide a rating. I honestly don't know. I'm sorry. Kaiser limited edition pools are too strong. Invest oh, okay, okay. Now I get it. They're not too strong. Um, yes, they're stronger than the than the other character, the other SRs, but they're not like you need them. How do I know? The only character I have is Saki. That's the only character I had summons for. So I can't even I can't even agree with that. No, I have to I have to um. No, this is too strong, not stronger. No, uh, uh, they're not too strong. No, no, I can't say that. Okay, now I can look back at this. Update it frequently. No, because I don't have enough characters. No, no, I, I heavily disagree. Because I don't have enough characters. How long do I got to wait for a 42 character? Everyone, oh, oh, it's too many characters. They come too fast. Stop buying every MF in character. Please. You're going to make rerun and put it on pause? Yo, I got to wait till Zeke potentially for another 42 character. Yo, all I got is Frost and Flame for 42 picks right now. So that means like some of the JOs when it says Frost and Flame reduction of damage. I'm useless. Like you're basically telling me not to play Fortitude, right? You got the level 75 and level 80. They're, they're stating, um, what's it called? Um, I'm trying to think, sorry. They, they give buffs. Um, what are the buffs to give? Oh, they did like, um, buffs to Flame and Frost for one of them. The other one is Physical and, and Vault. Well, guess who doesn't have Physical or Vault for Fortitude? You're basically telling me not to play that mode. So, like, I get where other people are saying it, but they're just playing damage. They're only looking out for damage perspectives. When you look at everything else, no, it's not a problem. We need options quick. We need options quick. Honestly, how many Benediction characters are there to, to choose from from the limited um summons? Well, all we got right now is Nemesis, and then we're gonna have Lyra coming up. And other than that, we don't know. We're, we're gonna make a guess that um um that the new flame character is gonna be that uh for Benediction. So we got potentially three characters that's gonna be limited time. And for four to two, we got potentially two players that's going to be limited time. You know, with Zeke and then maybe the Silly is that too. We'll have three. How many attackers are there? You know what? Don't even answer that question because y'all already know that we can look what's in the in the, uh, the catalog for future summons. So there's plenty of summons for attack. Yeah, but not Benediction and 42. So I'm not going to say it comes up too quickly. I'm saying it's too slow. <laughs> The designs of outfits and vehicles look bad and do not suit my taste. They're not bad, it's expensive. <laughs> the way it's obtained vehicles, oh, outfits and vehicles do not suit my purchasing habits and some cannot be directly purchased. I can agree on that. Uh, let me think. Cause something like, there's a whole vehicle you can get that's cost $25. And you're just gonna get um what's it called out of it? Dark crystal. I just feel like that's a bad purchase. Like if it would have been like five, ten dollars, cool. I'm just saying before that $25 um um mount was there, vehicle, like you got the vehicle in for for like $20, but it was the whole battle pass. You get what I'm saying? $20 battle pass with a vehicle and a bunch of goodies. This one is just $25 just right off the bat. I just feel like it's crazy. And the outfits, like, I just don't understand why they cost. No, I'm putting on a five. Never mind. I'm sorry. Outfits or... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did not suit my person having some... No, no. I'm still right with that. I'm not changing that answer. I'm not budging off that. This is... I think that's correct. If y'all think I'm wrong, give me a valid reason. The chance of getting rare items from the gotcha pawn is too low. I don't know if it's too low because and the wait wait which gotcha pond though like that's different because it's, if it's the one we just collect the mirror and stuff anything like in game i understand that but the one that you gotta like actually put your your money in 
That's different. That is different. That's probably why they ask these questions. They, they throwing tw trick questions. So I'm going to add them all together, you know, putting them together. I've been trying to get a mount. Can't get it right now. When I wanted my um, four-piece hoom, I had to go pretty pretty far in. Right now, I'm trying to get the four-piece um, Samir. So I'm getting pretty far in. So right now, I actually have to say, um, no, I do have some, though. I put a four. Right? Um, that's from my experience. Not from everyone else. It's my experience. In order to win the big prize in the gotcha problem machine, I had to draw some other items first. I don't think that's worth it. I can't fully agree. I don't know. That's between a three and a four. Because they're useful, right? But a lot of the useful items, like, you can get without being that gotcha pawn. So, if you get, you know, extras, I don't know how that works out. I'm put a four. I'm put a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some of the items that are there, it's like, You'll get that from spending vitality anyway. Well, I didn't answer a question. Oh, multiplayer answer. I didn't even see this. Wow. Joint operation. Wait. What is what what, what am I answering? Oh, oh, okay. Joint operation, dimensional trial, space domain, and cell exploration, etc. Uh I don't know. I don't know if I'm satisfied. I don't know how satisfied. It's fun, but like you don't really like the drops are no the drops ain't that good for joint operation in my opinion. So I don't want to go there too often. So I already dimensional trials and space time domains, but I got to grind that so much it gets kind of boring. I feel like you don't get enough rewards in comparison to uh to how much you're asking for like these characters, especially if you summoned for Lynn. Y'all probably realize how expensive she is. That's why I was like, yo, there's no point in me getting her yet. I can't afford her. So I'm I know I'm going crazy. I'm dissatisfied. Wait, did something change here? Oh, I feel like something changed there for a second. That's crazy. Okay, I had to make sure. I had to make sure, chat. My bad. Okay, which is the problem with best to draw your behaviors and goals? I'm not story type. Casual won't care much about levels and ratings. Fine of taking the scenery. No, no, it's not me. I like challenging instances, hanging out, chatting with other players. That sounds like me. I seek they're selling levels, rating, character growth, a better ranking, etc. I mean, that is something else I'd want. But if I choose one, I'm choosing social. What do you think the overall goal in Tower of Fantasy? It's present to me. Oh, it's present from time to time. Yes, there's always a clear goal. What would be my goal right now? I'm trying to think. If I was having a goal right now, I mean, it's to get stronger, but how do I do that? It's all really within like random summons right now and me getting a better um, eyepiece. So I go from purple to gold. But I mean, if I got that, then I don't know. And this is from someone who's like, I'm not, I'm not a free to play player. Like I buy, I buy the battle passes and stuff. But I don't really go all in with crazy money. So I guess it's probably from time to time. I know LR be bored, so he just be joining me. But I'm not gonna lie, LR joining, I'll be having fun. Even though he be whooping my behind in 1v1s. I find it fun. You gotta you gotta have people in this game just to have fun with and goof around. And I talk a bunch of BS because I know I'm not gonna say a bunch of BS because I think LR realized I'm not meaning the word I'm saying. But then like I get caught in a bunch of BS too that I cause, of course. And I, I get I get BS on. Not in a bad way. Like, I'm not mad at the BS I get into. Because sometimes you got a BS in the game that has some fun too. If I didn't have friends where I play this game, I don't know. Because I, I think I'd always have a friend with them, my honey bunny. Honey bunny, I'm not saying we're just friends. We're more than that. Don't don't get mad at me. You are you are my girlfriend, my, my lover right now. Please not get mad at me. I'm just I'm just saying that. Okay, but let's look at this. Solving riddles. <laughs> ah, speaking of honey bunny, oh gosh. She would probably put. I didn't pay attention. Very tiring. But the riddles, eh, they're not tiring. They're just boring. <laughs> I can do them. So I guess I put like, uh, slightly tiring. This is this is boring. It's not really tiring. It's more boring. Unless tiring means boring. Like I don't mind seeing them. Eh, I don't know. 
Maybe I do. Maybe I don't like seeing them all that much. But like 2.1 made it fun. Everything else before 2.1, as far as riddles, not fun. So I don't know. Ruins. Bro, very tiring. I haven't finished them. Wormhole. Very tiring. Bygone Phantasm. Moderately tiring. Because it's all solo. Raids. I'm basically doing the same thing every week. Um, But it is fun. So I put slightly tiring. Apex League. Very tiring. And annoying. Weekly activity missions. Wait, what are our weekly activity missions? Hey, I, yo, I just realized what they are. I don't need to pay attention to them. I don't need to pay attention to them. <laughs> I get them done. I don't even focus on them. Um, equipment instances, joint operations. They're not tiring. I just don't like the rewards. They're not tiring. I just don't like the rewards. I, but I haven't done them enough either. Everyone is going to say they're tiring to them because they've done them way more than me. I have not really done a join out really for myself for like a long period of time. Like for like a while. Material instances? Oh. No, these are these are tiring. Because I do them way too much. Weekly challenge, void ribs, and frontier clash. They're not very tiring. So yeah, I know, I know like there's gonna be whales here who's gonna be tired of them. Maybe Leviathans are tired of them. But me, I still find that kind of challenging. So I put slightly tiring because I have to find people, but the actual like fighting and trying to beat it is not tiring for me. Okay, casual gameplay. Oh, training, annoying, facility. Oh yeah, yeah. Wing tour, yeah, 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 that's tired. I don't really want to do that, it's boring. That fun zone is not fun. I'm gonna do training in the fun zone, and I don't like the fun. I don't like the training. It'll sound like I curse. I didn't curse, so I'm sorry. Okay, how would you rate your satisfaction with the following aspects in the new? Oh, see, here we go. Now I'm gonna have fun. New map. I'm very satisfied. New main story. Did not last that long. <laughs> new limited character matrix pool. Did not summon. New equipment tactical goggles. Feels like it takes forever to get me some goggles. Ah, I'm put dissatisfied because how you have to get them, then with the then with the stats on them and how you gotta roll for them too. That's the dissatisfying part. Not having them, trying to be about them. Um, but I don't know much about the main story. The, the, the story doesn't last that long, so I'm not really. I guess I put neutral. But it's like, I like the story though. So it's like, what am I supposed to say? I like the story that's being given to me. I'm gonna put satisfied. It's not a lot of story, but I guess you're a new player and you got the breeze of the story. You'll probably retain it a lot more. I don't know. New get, oh, very dissatisfied. Limited time event, star weave nights. Wait, I actually gotta look at the game. Hold on. <laughs> what is, isn't that the, Wait. No, I'm very dissatisfied with that. But it, it's a it's a re, it's recycled. It's recycled. That's why I'm not I'm not I'm very dissatisfied. Okay. Main reason dissatisfied with the new equipment. Okay. I'm not stressed out. So there's a new two random difficult to get the, Yeah, there you go. Okay. The improvement of CS after development does not meet my expectations. I don't know. I haven't done it. Too difficult to obtain a new equipment. It's not difficult, it just takes so long. The improvement of battle performance after development, well, I wouldn't know. It's too difficult to develop a new, well, it's, not, uh, it's not difficult, it just takes a while to get it. I guess I'll say it's too difficult then. There you go, boom. I'm not stressed out by it at all though. Okay, main reason besides I break from Destiny. Take so long to find a single game. I didn't have that. Hard to match. I didn't have that. Not enough gameplay rewards. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's lim like, no, nah, it's not a lot of dark crystals for the amount of time and effort you placed in 500. Now, if it's 500 a month, that's different. But I'm going to put not enough gameplay rewards. Have a hard time cooperating and communicating with the match teammates. That could happen. I haven't played co op, so I wouldn't know. 
but I'd probably just go with friends because why would I why would I not want to play with friends? There are many bugs in the gameplay and the basic experience is poor. I don't know if mine is a bug or not. I don't know. The localization of the gameplay, uh, I, I mean, that might be true. I don't know. I'm just looking at bot people. I can't tell them. Oh, uh, my controller does not work properly in the mode compared to open world. Now I've already stated like the open world, the controller, you still have to use the, the mouse and keyboard. It's not the it's not the best with controller. But playing that mode, it's all the worse. So yeah. Okay. As of now, how many stars do you have on Lingua? I'm gonna put zero and see what it says. Oh. Well, I oh wait, what? Oh, but you get three stars, don't matter. <laughs> Okay, I don't have it. Okay, which is following me saw you participate in the Lin weapon drawing. Not that useful you get higher star oh not that useful unless you get a higher star rating weapon. It costs so much. That could be true, but that's not it for me. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm good with the zero stars a lot. No. The weapon's not powerful enough with weak upgrade. No. Not enough items to draw or resource to develop. Yes. Not suitable lineup for Lin. That's not my reason. I'm used to the current lineup. I don't want to switch it up. That's kind of true, but not really. I don't like Lynn's appearance or character settings. Oh, man, I wish someone would say. Poor feedback we're using in combat. Don't like the skill design. I tried to okay, others, please fill in. Saving up for the next fortitude because. Simulacra. Are expensive. Not the use one's good. See, that's what I'm like. It's that's partially for me. Like the cost so much is, but like the not useful part, like I'm not gonna use the character really. That's what I'm like. I, it's so hard for me to sit, use that as a uh, reason. But like, simulacras are expensive in general. Mainly based on appearance, pick three simulacras and NPCs to be your favorite. Oh, Mia. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be choosing Mia, Saki. Okay, it just said uh, mainly based on appearance. Okay, so Mia, Saki. Hmm, he was a whole snack too, though. Hmm. I like how King, I love how he's, his is all cap letters. Yo, Grim, they are playing you bad. I want to say Cobalt. Um, who else? But like, I like Zero's look too. But if it just purely looks, I just think Mia's so cute in that Halloween outfit. Saki, I just love me some Saki with all her outfits. Oh, like, I don't find her outfit to be bad. And Koba, I just love how she looks in all her outfits too. So, I mean, by default, that's what it is. I like the other character, but I only can pick three. All right, and we had completed the survey. I thank you all for stopping by and tuning into the video. Uh, by the time you see this video, I'm probably streaming somewhere. But yeah, if you rather watch streams on Twitch, hey, search me right there. Uh, you probably see it in the comment section of the description. Yeah, the description is going to show my Twitch. They got the YouTube, it's the same channel. You want to check me out on other platforms, you can just let me know. But yeah, I'll catch y'all later on, everybody. And yeah, don't forget to do the survey. Please do the survey. Give them feedback and try to give them honest feedback. Don't give them hatred feedback, but don't give them loving feedback. You know, not too loving, not too hateful. Be honest. Now, if your honesty is you having strong dislikes, place it. If you're having strong likes, place it. Just try to be honest with yourself as best as possible. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribing because you can put that subscribe button is right over here. And don't forget, you can watch the videos over here. I want to see you in there too, all right? You enjoy yourself.